He's locked in a bitter divorce and custody battle with Angelina Jolie. And Brad Pitt looked pleased to be focused on work as he was spotted filming in character for his latest movie on Friday. The 54 year old movie star looked handsome as ever as he shot scenes for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in Los Angeles. He was joined on set by Leonardo DiCaprio for the Tarantino directed movie due for release on July 26, 2019. Brad, who hit back at Angelina's claims that he's not paying meaningful child support, was reminiscent of his Thelma and Louise big break, with longer hair and a side parting and cowboy jeans. The Academy Award winner for producing 12 Years a Slave wore a fitted yellow print short over a white t-shirt, showcasing his toned arms. The hunky star is also seen getting behind the wheel of a classic Cadillac. I end the scene, Brad picked up Leo from an office at Paramount Studios. Leonardo had a tan leather jacket over his mustard and brown ensemble. The story is set around the 1969 murder of actress Sharon Tate, played by Margot Robbie. Leonardo plays Rick Dalton, a washed up Western TV actor trying to make it back into the big time. Brad, who worked with Tarantino on Inglourious Bastards, plays DiCaprio's character's stunt double, Cliff Booth. In the upcoming film, DiCaprio and Pitt's characters look for one last chance at a big film in a Hollywood that has long since left them behind. Their lives are flipped upside down when their next door neighbor, Tate, is infamously killed by Charles Manson and his cult. Manson family members Charles Tex Watson, Susan Atkins and Patricia Krenwinkel butchered Sharon at her and her husband Roman Polanski's Los Angeles home in August 1969 leaving the word pig scrawled on the front door in Sharon's blood. In the house with Sharon, who was pregnant, were coffee heiress Abigail Folger, Abigail's Bo Wojciech Frakowski, and Sharon's hairstylist friend and ex-J Sebring. All of them were killed as well as was Stephen Parent, 18, who had swung by the premises that evening to pay a call on its caretaker Bill Gerritsen, 19. Fortunately for Bill, the Manson family never came across him. The next night, Manson family members entered the home of grocer Leno LeBianca and his wife Rosemary LeBianca and murdered them too. Charles Manson himself served life in prison and only died this past November, exactly a week after his 83rd birthday. Brad is concentrating on his work, while Angelina is complaining she has been forced to return to making movies to financially support their children. Jolie filed for divorce in September 2016 citing irreconcilable differences and their bitter split is being played out in the media. They share six children, Maddox, 16, Pax, 14, Zahara, 13, Shiloh, 12, and 10-year-old twins Vivian and Knox. After Jolie accused her ex of failing to pay meaningful child support for their six children since their September 2016 split, Pitt hit back saying he'd paid over $9 million during the past 18 months. Then late on Wednesday, the actress, 43, through her attorney, blasted the actor, 54, accusing him of a blatant attempt to obfuscate the truth and distract from the fact that he has not fully met his legal obligations to support the children. In a statement to Us Weekly, Samantha Bladegian of the law offices of Blay and Blay said when Jolie left Pitt, taking their children with her, in September 2016, Pitt opted to keep the family home in Los Angeles that he had kept following his divorce from first wife Jennifer Aniston, including the contents. The statement said, Brad was asked to assist in the expense of a new home for Angelina and the children, but instead he loaned Angelina money, for which he is charging her interest on a payment plan. Angelina will of course honor that loan. A loan is not, however, child support and to represent it as such is misleading and inaccurate. Angelina is asking Brad to pay 50% of the children's expenses. He has not. Angelina has had to shoulder the majority of those without his contribution for the past two years. Child support is not optional in California, the statement on Jolie's behalf went on. According to the richest, Jolie's net worth is $160 million, while Pitt's is $260 million. A source went on to claim to Us Weekly that Jolie, who is currently filming Maleficent 2 in London, had been forced to return to work making movies in order to cover the costs associated with raising her children. She didn't work for a year and a half to be with the kids and is only working to pay off the house as he kept the family home, the source alleged. Meanwhile, Pitt and his team say the wanted star is simply trying to manipulate media coverage in her favor. In documents obtained by DailyMail.com, 
lawyers for Pitt state that Jolie's claims that he has withheld child support are calculated to increase the conflict. The filing explained the heartthrob star had loaned his ex dollar $8 million to assist her in purchasing her current residence and also paid over $1.3 million in bills for the benefit of Jolie and the minor children. Friends of Pitt have been rallying to his defense, claiming he is helping to provide for the six kids he shares with Jolie. Pitt forks over hundreds of thousands each month on therapists for his six children, travel expenses and round-the-clock bodyguards, sources told Page Six. The divorce case has been held in front of a private judge to keep it out of the press, one friend told the gossip site. But she filed in La Superior Court knowing that it would go public and that he would be made out to be a deadbeat dad, which he isn't. Another source added, Brad has completely lived up to his commitments as far as child support and will continue to do so. Custody issues have proved to be the biggest stumbling block in legally ending the marriage. One such issue is how much time the children get to spend with their father after he was cleared of any wrongdoing in an investigation that followed allegations Pitt had been rough with one of their children on a private plane. But another major reason for the bitter battle is Jolie's resentment towards her third husband, Us Weekly claims. She can't see past her anger for Brad that he is on his way to getting joint custody, said the magazine's source. A source connected to Pitt told TMZ that they believe the Maleficent actress wants to kill any relationship he has with his kids. They also claim that there has been a lot of screaming on Jolie's part, adding, she's fueled with anger and has gotten ridiculously unreasonable. A spokesperson for Jolie told People the actress filed in court hoping simply to lessen the stress before sorting out custody arrangements. They said the filing is to provide closure to the marriage in a way that clears a path toward the next stage of their lives and allows her and Brad to recommit as devoted co-parents to their children. On Tuesday, Pitt was seen attending back-to-back -back meetings with lawyers in Los Angeles. No doubt it has been a tense few days for the A-lister as an eyewitness told us weekly, he sat in his car for four to five minutes before getting out once his driver had parked.